What's up, you guys? <clears throat> my name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free channel collective reading for all signs. Got to be sad to everybody in between. This is for Sonic Cancer. This is for the you have Cancer. In any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, step to the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and rest for general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. Um, the link's in the description box below. And I am open for personal readings. Um, my slots are almost filled, though. So if you would like one, you have to text me to book. And I uh, have the right to refuse a reading. If I feel your energy is off, just let everybody know. Okay? This goes if you have cancer in any aspect of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer of Jupiter charts for additional message or messages. Um, if this resonates for you, cancer. Okay, so um, I received two channelings in as I was meditating on your energy for um, September of 2022. This is reading three. Um, the, the first one I heard, a new relationship, is the first one. And the second one I heard, um, a Scorpio is about to betray a Gemini. Um, I heard in important information is going to detriment them. Um, their integrity. Their integrity. Is what I just heard, their integrity. So Scorpio is about to betray a Gemini. It's about to detriment their integrity. Um, hope that resonates. And their life. And their life. Oh my God. Whoa. It's about to detriment their integrity and their life. Um, so it's about to make their life, it's about to affect their life in a negative way. It's, it's a terrible... So it's something terrible, whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it is, but it's official reporting. Official reporting is what I just heard. Official reporting. So some kind of official reporting um, that this Scorpio is about to report on this Gemini. Uh, and it's about to detriment their integrity and their their life. So it's about to it's about to create many negative series of chain events. Many negative series of chain events for them. Many. It's about to create many negative series of chain events for them. Many. So many negative series of chain events for this Gemini. Um, I don't know why you're bringing in Scorpio and Gemini energy in here unless you deal with these people or you have dealt with these people. But you plug it in how it resonates. They could have Scorpio and Gemini and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter, Tarts. If that resonates and applies for you, um, Cancer. And a new relationship. So um, I think this could be you getting into a new relationship or somebody you're connected to. Some kind of new relationship energy. Congratulations to whoever that's for. I mean, I don't want no damn relationship, but I, maybe for one of you guys, you just got into a new relationship or somebody you're connected to did. Yeah, you know, has. All that resonates, okay? All right. Gong, an exciting event. Scales, keep your life in balance. We have wolf and bee. For some of you, you're dealing with the earth sign or a fire sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or Aries, Leo, Sides, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, will send in here to Jupiter charts. If you are, um, if you are Cancer. Courage, number three, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number three, Courage. Wolf. <clears throat> a very important court date coming up soon. A very important court date coming up soon. That's what I just heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. A very important court date coming up soon. So that could be you having a very important court date coming up soon or somebody you're connected to. But some kind of very important court date coming up soon. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Wolf. A Virgo is about to be on your ass, on your ass, for some an Aquarius, on your ass. 
Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. Some work, some personal. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Some kind of um, Virgo or Aquarius energy. They could have Virgo or Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so been having a Jupiter charts. But how that resonates, I heard um, they're about to be on your ass. It's either in a workspace or in, um, it's either in a workspace or in a, a personal situation. So like a relationship or a family dynamic. How that resonates that applies i think they're coming in with the wolf energy um very um lots of desire drive and motivation for some they could be micromanagers if they're in a workspace possibly that's what i feel for some maybe they're micromanagers but you plug in how it resonates um in your own life but um i do i feel micromanaging energy here i do if it's in a workspace but for some it's personal so it could be a controlling um family member, a domineering family member. It could be a um, controlling partner. How that resonates, it applies, okay? B? The gossip train is about to be off the train, off the chain. It already has been. There is a particular feminine energy in your community that people have been calling her a witch. But it's about to backfire on them in a huge way because the real witch is about to be revealed. Evidence to the police. Oh, shit. So you plug in how it resonates. So the gossip train's already off the chain. It's about to be more off the chain. Some feminine energy in your in your community, Cancer, this resonates with you. People are calling her a witch. Um, that, that's hilarious, just saying. Um, they're calling her a witch, but I heard she's not the real witch. Um, there is another real witch. Um, and um, like a true dark side spiritualist witch. Not like a fun kitchen witch, garden witch shit. Um, and I heard basically um, that this real witch is about to be exposed. Um evidence through the police um and the coven and the coven and the fbi is going to get involved know this oh my god um and the coven and the fbi is going to get involved know this so we've got a coven we've got the real witch somebody in somebody in your community people were calling her a real we're calling her the witch but she's not the witch it is another fem energy that's the real witch and apparently this real witch heads a fucking coven or did head a coven but there's been some kind of evidence that's about to go in um that's been in got went into the police um regarding this the real witch and the coven um and more is about to come in and more is about to come in so more evidence is about to come in and identifying the real witch not the one that everybody's been calling a witch the real one and the coven sounds secret 70 just saying just saying um but i heard um yeah wow so you plug in how it resonates i heard the fbi is going to get involved too so federal bureau of investigation so i'm assuming this is in the united states of america this is some shit the cover-up is about to blow up <clears throat> the cover-up is about to blow up is what i just heard the cover-up is about to blow up and the real witch has been trying to manifest in the other feminine energy to cover her ass, but that's about to backfire. Know this. But the uh, and the real witch is about to is trying to manifest in the other fem energy. So the other fem energy that everybody's been calling the witch, but really isn't. The real witch has been trying to manifest in the not witch. Um, but I heard that's that's backfire. So the uh, so the fem energy that everybody's been calling the witch that really isn't a witch. The real witch trying to manifest in but i think the other fem energy is highly intuitive and she don't stay the hell away from it that's exactly what i think but you plug it in how it resonates that's some sick shit so i think gossip's about to come out with that too when the fucking fbi and the police get involved in this shit this is about to turn into a huge thing a huge thing this is about to turn into a huge thing a huge thing and an Aquarius is about to ever regret getting involved with this because they're about to be connected. And an Aquarius is about to ever regret getting involved with this and because um, they're about to be connected. 
So some kind of Aquarian energy as well. Um, you've got Virgo, um, Virgo and Aquarius, heavy Aquarius energy in here. And I heard an Aquarius is about to regret ever getting involved with it because they're about to be connected. So it could be the Aquarius that's on your ass at work or um, and personal or not. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, cancer. Shit. Damn. Gong, an exciting event. For one, it's a concert coming up. For one, it's a meeting. Very public meeting. For one, it's a concert coming up. For one, it's a public meeting. For one, it's a live show. And for one, it's a live show. For one, it's a concert. For one, it's a live show. And for one, it is a um, very public meeting. So some kind of exciting event. You plug it in how it resonates. Keep your life in balance. A police report of the past is about to come back. Know this. A police report of the past is about to come back. Know this. Some kind of police report of the past. Five that resonates and applies cancer. Some kind of police report of the past is about to come back. So that could come back in a positive way or a negative way. Only you know which side of that you're on. Um, five that resonates and applies cancer. Uh, only you know where you fall and how you resonate with that police report. Did you make the police report? Did somebody make the police report on you? Um, were, maybe you're an officer that made the report. I'm not sure, but how that resonates, some kind of police report of the past is about to come back. Uh, it could be a false police report for some. You plug it in how it resonates. False police reports are very criminal, by the way. It's just let everybody know. I think it's thrown somebody's life off balance or threw your life off balance because we have to keep your life in balance. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Maybe you're going to have courage to make it right or help make it right or what have you, what have you. A very chaotic unit is about to get even more chaotic hospital setting. People are about to start quitting in a huge way. Know this. Oh, Lord. I heard a very chaotic unit in a hospital setting is about to get even more chaotic. People are about to start quitting in a huge way. So I think you work in this hospital unit. Um, I think you work in the hospital unit. It's exactly what I think. Um, or, yeah, I do. I think you work in the hospital unit or you know somebody that works in this hospital unit. How that resonates and applies cancer. And that's exactly what I think. Um, for some, I feel you might be the manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel it. But you plug it in how it resonates. But um, I'm serious. There's a reason I'm pulling in this hospital unit. I think you work in it. Or um, you know somebody that does. But it's chaotic now. It's about to get even more chaotic. And I heard many people are about to quit. So I'm assuming they're not part of a labor union. Just saying, just saying. Uh, it's going to make your life very imbalanced. Uh, I think you work in this unit or you know somebody that does. Maybe you're one of the ones about to quit. You plug it in how it resonates. But a very chaotic hospital unit. Oh, the world that resonates. I didn't hear specifically what unit that was. and how the, uh, So how that applies for you, but is in a hospital setting. Wolf. Well, 
And for one, you work at skilled nursing facility and the state's about to come visit. You will have no notification of this. Nobody's going to tell you and they're not going to tell you for strate strategic reasons this time. You've had tips in the past. No one's going to be prepared and it's about to be bad. Know this. Oh my God almighty. Whoa. For one, you work in corporate for this company, for skilled nursing facility company. Oh my God. So one, you work in co uh, corporate, so a corporate conglomerate for a skilled nursing facility. One, you work in the skilled nursing facility. Holy shit and moly. Um, for one, you could work in state, uh, state about to do this. How this resonates. But one, you definitely work in corporate and it's a corporate conglomerate for, um, skilled nursing facilities. One, you work in the skilled nursing facility. One, I feel you might work for state. You plug it in, how it resonates. But however that resonates, um, state's about to visit a skilled nursing facility. And for anybody who doesn't know, state, like JACO, uh, JACO governs, is a governing body for hospitals, um, for the regulation, regulation side. State is for skilled nursing. Now, JACO can, um, JACO can come and visit school nursings too, but, um, you know, they don't have to. It's state is a governing body, to my knowledge on that. But definitely state for skilled nursing, for sure, for sure, for sure. From my experiences in the past, when I've worked at hospitals and when I've worked at skilled nursing facilities, we have always had a heads up. Always. Somebody always knew state or JACO was coming. Period. We always knew. You know, it might have been a day before, it might have been a couple days before, but we knew. And that's just the truth. And I've worked many skilled nursings, I've worked at two hospitals, and that's just the truth. Whoever this is, whether you are in corporate or you um, are working uh, in the skilled nursing facility, you're not going to have any heads up. But state is doing this strategically. Very strategically. Very, oh my God, that's confirmation. Very strategically. They're doing it very strategically. I think they might have had, um, I think they've had complaints to the um, advocacy person, state advocacy person. Uh, I think they've had complaints to the ombudsman. I didn't hear they did, but there's a reason they're about to do it strategically and you're not going to have a heads up and the state knows you're not going to have a heads up. Um, like I said, I've never worked anywhere where we didn't have at least a day's heads up. And they would always announce it over the intercom, a code word. So all the employees on the floor, floor nurses and floor personnel would know when they're entered the building. Very strategic code word. And that's just the truth. So this, they're not going to have any heads up, period. But state's doing it for a reason. Holy shit moly. Um, I think somebody's been complaining to the ombudsman is exactly what I think. That's exactly what the hell I think. I didn't hear that. So keep your life in balance when the state comes um, either to your facility, your skilled nursing facility, and you work in it, or you're a corporate about to probably get a phone call that states in that facility. How that resonates and applies cancer. There, I heard that very strategic reason. So I'm telling you, I think there's been some complaints to the ombudsman, and I'm just being for real, for real. Wolf. There's about to be a very significant complaint to a state's ombudsman very soon. Advocacy. Oh, my God. I heard there's about to be a very significant complaint to a state ombudsman soon. Advocacy. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, cancer. Holy shit. So um, whoever, I mean, there is about to be a complaint to a state ombudsman. Now, anybody who doesn't know, a state ombudsman is basically, um, they're an advocacy. They're supposed to be advocacy for the patients in skilled nursing facilities. Just saying. Uh, like in Alabama, the state ombudsman for the skilled nursing facilities their picture is posted in every, in all the facilities. And I've worked in many of them. Wolf.
A Taurus feminine is about to start looking really fine. Really fine. You are not with this person. Okay, I heard a Taurus fem is about to start looking really fine, really fine. You're not with this person. So some kind of Taurus fem energy. I was picking the Taurus fem energy up in your last reading too. Some kind of Taurus fem energy. I heard she's about to start looking really fine. You're not dating this person. You're not with this person. It's your Taurus looking fly. Pretty fly for a white guy. Just saying, just saying. Uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. She's Taurus fem. You plug it in how it resonates there. Cancer. B. And a Virgo's lab results are about to come back very badly, very badly. You are connected to this Virgo. Personally. And a Virgo's, uh, it could be a mass scorpion Virgo. They could have Virgo in any aspects of their charts. I heard a Virgo's um, lab results are about to come back very negatively. Um, you are personally connected to this Virgo, so you could be a partner, an ex-partner, or you could be a um, spouse, or a uh, live-in, or a family member. Some kind of Virgo energy, some kind of bad lab, lab results. However that resonates, it applies. B. Earth signs are about to really try to pursue a Leo feminine, exes of her past. She is not going to entertain these people. You know, you know they're about to, you knew they had a plan to do this. Okay. Earth sign energy of a Leo Fem's past, exes. So heavy earth sign X energy of a Leo feminine. Um Taurus Capricorn Virgo X energy of a Leo Fem. No. However, they were ex to her, baby daddy, baby mama, I mean, because there's heterosexual, homosexual relationships, baby daddy, baby mama, ex-fiance, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-sneaky link, what have you, what have you, but heavy earth sign energy, I heard they're about, soon about to try to pursue a Leo feminine, but I heard she's not interested, but I heard you knew they had plans to pursue her, so however, you're connected to these ex-earth signs of this Leo fem. Sounds like somebody is just too up into people's damn business. What, what the hell? Just saying. Her, she's not going to entertain them, though. She's not interested. So you plug in how it resonates, Cancer. Earth sign energy wanting to buzz to the Leo fam. And it sounds like it's more than one person. <clears throat> Definitely more than one person. Definitely more than one person. That's confirmation. Definitely more than one person. You plug in how it resonates. I heard she's not interested. So you plug in how it resonates. Courage. Someone lied to you in a huge way in the past, a huge way. For some, your ex, for some, a uh, supposed friend. You're about to turn it around on them in a huge way. Okay, someone lied to you in a huge way in the past, Cancer. For some, it's your ex. For some, it was a supposed friend, so a friend of me energy. I heard you're about to turn it around on them in a huge way. So you're about to have courage to turn it around on them, whether it's your ex. Um, or a supposed friend like a frenemy energy. You're about to turn it around on them. Courage to turn it around on them. So you plug in how it resonates, Cancer.
A Cancer is about to place a lawsuit, one on a Libra, one on a Capricorn, one on a Scorpio. For one of these situations, it was regarding an illegal business and a church was involved with this. Oh my God. What the hell? You plug in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you're about to turn the tables on somebody and you're about to place a lawsuit. One on a Scorpio. Oh, for some of you guys, a Scorpio. For some, one of you guys, a Libra. One a, one a Scorpio, one a Libra, one a Capricorn. I heard it was an illegal business, but a church was involved. So what? Um, I don't even, y'all know how I feel about churches. Uh, I'm spiritual. I'm not religious. I, churches, I, I, I don't do churches. And that's just damn true. Um, but a church got involved with an illegal business. And a Sagittarius was try, is trying hard to stay out of this, but they're about to get pulled in, into it too. And a Sagittarius was trying hard to stay out of this, but they're about to get pulled in it too. So you might place a lawsuit on the Sag too, or somebody else pulls the Sagittarius in. But some kind of Sagittarius is trying to stay out of it. But I heard they're about to get pulled into it. It's some kind of illegal business that involved um, a church. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's so weird. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, we're done. All right, I love you guys. Hope this helped and namaste.